Hey y'all, and welcome back. I really hope that this time of year is treating you so, so well. There are times I'm pulling myself up from my bootstraps still, but as the days grow lighter for longer, I do feel a sense of anticipation growing in the chill of the air. Spring is so close and signs of life are emerging everywhere. Over the past few weeks, the pine forest behind our campsite was logged, taking hundreds of trees for lumber and leaving acres of destruction behind. If you've been following along, you may know I decided to take this past winter to park the van in a very rural, very small southern countryside. Being surrounded by farm fields as well as a beautiful forest where we would walk with the cats and witness the incredible changes has definitely been a chapter of going as slow and as simply as possible. Winter has been a time of living within our means and focusing on what needs to be nurtured. I knew the trees were being grown for lumber, but I had no idea that this season I would be here would be the very same time they'd be harvested. It was shocking to watch how quickly it was taken away, and almost like the live action fern gully was happening just in our backyard. I do understand the necessity of logging. I just can't help but feel a profound sadness towards what was once a lush ecosystem that I spent so much time with. Being witness to the whole process was quite a sobering realization of just how quickly we humans can alter the nature of our surroundings. But after all this habitat upheaval, a beautiful sign of resiliency in the face of change has been seeing the birds and wildlife return, reminding me that nature always finds a way to bounce back. And that's kind of how I feel as well, ready to shed the wintering layers of introspection and embrace the new changes ahead. Soon it will be time to migrate, and I'm not sure what's to come, but I just feel ready. I also feel like it has been forever since our last chat. My last video was a silent vlog, which was a little different than the norm, but I really enjoyed creating it, and to be honest, I could see myself working more with this style. Something about sharing space and silence is so healing sometimes, and I think that might be why we really enjoy the company of animals. During college, I always told myself I would one day run away to an ashram, take a vow of silence, and figure out what the meaning of life was. But I never did either of those things, and it hasn't gotten to that point. I still contemplate the idea every once in a while when life just gets so noisy. So I have to feed my starter, and I also have some overripe frozen bananas that I also have to use. So that means that tonight we are going to make some banana bread. 
So this week, I am still alone as Jessie is traveling for training, but I am happy to stay back and hang with the kitties, and I've been getting quite a lot of work done. After a full day of video editing and completing a couple other projects, I'm quite excited to have another simple and relaxing evening full of baking, drinking tea, and escaping into some books. Adding the sourdough starter to the batter adds an extra depth of flavor and it also helps to create less waste versus just throwing away your starter discard. Another tip I've learned that has been a game changer is using frozen bananas. If I have browning bananas and I'm not quite ready to use them, I'll peel them and store them in the freezer for later. After taking them out of the freezer, I will let them dethaw in the fridge and the juice from them adds a really nice moisture to the finished bread. I must admit, it took a long time for me to feel a sense of flow within this lifestyle. Learning to live with less, less space, less storage, less water, has really tested my resourcefulness and encouraged a lot of creativity when making the most of every square inch. And although it's always a balancing act between what to carry versus what to let go of, it is worth exploring because I'm starting to understand that more often than not, less isn't always a negative thing. Living with less has deepened my appreciation for the simple joys in life, watching the sunrise, a hot cup of coffee, or finding comfort in nature and my surroundings. These moments have become treasures that money can't buy. And reflecting on why I decided to go this alternative living route back then reminds me that this van has been a beautiful stepping stone in the journey towards seeking more sovereignty over my most valuable asset, time. And though it may be a simple life, it is one I'm truly grateful for.
After I get the batter together, I will let it rest for a little while to allow the starter to work its magic. Speaking of simplicity, let's enjoy a nice cup of chamomile tea. So I have been thinking a lot about the process of change. Given the storm of disruption just in the backyard, Amongst us all being in the seasonal cusp, what does it really take to truly evolve into something different or to reach for the heights of our aspirations? And as hard as it is, I think we must be prepared to undergo the process of breakdown. familiar and embrace the vulnerability that comes when we are really ready to grow is uncomfortable but to let go of those habits and patterns or even self-limiting beliefs that stand in the way is what really breaks through that resistance the resistance that we feel when we want to accomplish something big it's a real thing and it's scary True change will strip you of your identity, all to give you a clean slate to build upon. But if there is anything that I've learned from having to live out of this little van, flexibility is truly your best friend. Because life changes are inevitable and learning to flow with life is so much better than fighting it. had Eva my van for going on eight years now and honestly I can't believe how long it actually has been. I think I've been able to sustain this lifestyle after developing a routine I resonate with and also from traveling slowly, parking in places for longer than just a couple nights and sometimes for seasons even. I've gained so much from living simply but I also feel as if I too am on the cusp of changing. My needs from 2016 has definitely altered since then. And I contemplate selling my van and finding a new owner for this Zen Den in exchange for a new adventure, whether that be building out a different nest, finding a plot of land to cultivate, or maybe even just life out of a backpack for a little while. It's a tough nut for me to crack, but I know the answer will come in time. And hopefully, when it does, I will be ready to be vulnerable.
Okay, good night. We are baking in the RV's oven tonight, one because this batter won't all fit in my Omnia stovetop, and two because it's much more efficient, plus I need to spend time with my best girl Chi Chi. I know it's easy to get excited for the changing times and warmer weather ahead, but I also have come to really respect the lessons that winter has to offer. Traditionally, being the season where we must learn how to ration through the stores from last year's harvest, we begin to find gratitude towards our past, realizing that the hard work we go through will be felt in time. And this mindset is so beneficial for whenever we are to endure any challenges ahead. And with that, patience may also be gained, because as nature takes its time to rest and rejuvenate, we too can benefit from slowing down, reflecting, and patiently awaiting the arrival of brighter days. But I think the most valuable wisdom winter shows us is in learning to appreciate the little things. As we journey further into this new year, prioritizing growth and expansion, it may become easy to get caught in the pursuit. We may find ourselves chasing after more possessions, success, or abundance, as is the natural theme of the fiery, energetic momentum of the upcoming Aries season. However, amidst the hustle and bustle, if ever we feel overwhelmed by the acceleration of life, we can always find joy in the solace of the simpler moments. And so that is it, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me this evening, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.